Hey, day 158, Coffee with Kenny. I'm Kenny Killer, creator of Helicopter Line Ground School. Have Ray here from Colorado. Been doing uh, some training in the instrument for a couple days now. If you've been watching the videos, you kind of know where we're at. If not, he showed up a couple days ago from Colorado. We went over the instrument the first day, talked about all the little nuances. Then the first day we went out in some high winds, gusting 30, 30, 30, almost 30 knots. And after 20 years of not flying, he did great. Then yesterday we went out and hit everything. We did. We were busy. Busy, normal takeoffs <laughs> and landings, but then we went right into autos, quick stops, straight ins, 90s, 180s. Yeah. What would you like to share with everybody, Ray, about whatever you want to talk about our flight yesterday? It was awesome. Well, you know, after 20, 20 years, you're, you know, you're hesitant about doing anything, but um, uh, especially like autos, you know, there's a lot of technique, a little bit of technique there that you have to kind of bring back. And uh, um, obviously, I got some good coaching from Kenny here, so. Um, we did those, and uh, um, I, I was pretty happy. I, I still have a lot to go, and um, uh, like we were flying, you know, uh, around the pattern quite a bit too. And Kenny's telling me, right pedal, right pedal, and maintain. Riding 50, around all day, right pedal. <laughs> maintain 60, more right 70, pedal. Keep altitude, you know. So a lot of things are going through your head trying to um, make it all come together. Uh, so you try to fly the perfect pattern every time, and. Uh, I felt good a lot, of, a lot of the time. What did you think of the um, autos after all that R22 time getting your rating? What did you think of the autos in the instrument? Because everybody wants to know, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, the autos are a joy. I mean, basically, it's a non-event. Uh, you, you enter into the auto, and you got time to think about what you're doing. And, um, you know, you do your, your flare right at the treetop there. And uh, I could see, you know, uh, no problems if you really had to do a, a full-on auto. So... Yeah. You'll be able to walk away for, from yep. it. So raise an inspiration for those of you that maybe got a rating a long time ago and then didn't do anything with it for a lot of years. And then Ray decided, heck with it. And he bought a helicopter. He has a beautiful Enstrom that I had um, basically jealous of. I saw it at Heli Expo 2018. And, and I didn't know it wasn't a new helicopter. I thought it was brand new. <laughs> And it still looks new. <laughs> at the show, I was like, if I was in the market, I would be taking this helicopter home. So when he told me he wanted to come out and fly, and he told me the one that he owned, I was like, you're kidding me. You own that Enstrom? Well, it's a I was, beautiful I gonna, aircraft. I was going to interrupt and say, man, if, if you've been putting off uh, flying a helicopter, um, or if you've flown a little bit, you know, I, I recommend going with the Hogs classes and the online stuff and get going. Just go out, go out and do an introductory front flight. And, uh, man, I think you're going to find out you, you wish you would have done it earlier. Absolutely. So there again in the theme of flying in our 50s, 60s, 70s, mm -hmm. people are doing it. People are finishing ratings that, ha that have been working on them for many years. And guys like Ray that got a rating and maybe didn't do much for a while are finally jumping out there. And a lot of them are inspired yeah. by the videos we're doing every day. So, yeah, and I'm not saying... Go out, you don't necessarily have to go out and buy a helicopter. Right, <laughs> that's, right. That's a caution above caution and you on that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But uh, at least get some training and go and enjoy that, that aspect. Exactly. If you want to fly, do it. Mm -hmm. Get out there and do it. Yeah. Quit putting it off. Just you're, go do it. You're not too old. You can do this. <laughs> exactly. Well, we're getting ready to go fly. Um, anything else you want to add? That's about it. I'm Jones and I'm ready to go. Are we flying again tomorrow yet too? We'll fly tomorrow too. And All yeah. right. Put your comments down below if you have any questions for Ray about what he's experienced so far transitioning R22 to Enstrom after 20 years and, and uh, or any other questions for us. Go down below, take our 24-hour test flight for Helicopter Land Ground School. You can also grab our number one best-selling books down there. There's a link down there where we bought the books. We ship them to you. Like and subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you tomorrow on day 159. Perfect. Like, subscribe, comment below. See you tomorrow.